is Roger McCregus, and this is Amped Up with Benny and Logan. Yeah, good night, Ben. Y'all ready for this? This week, I talked to NHS juniors Anna Kerwood and Abby Pilas and NHS senior Zoe Driscoll Spar about playing for the softball team. All right, so your team is off to a 7-1 and one start this season. Did you expect such a fast start? Yeah, I think we did because we didn't really lose any seniors last year, so we were expecting to come out strong, and our strength of schedule wasn't that great in the beginning of the season, but we're expecting you know a lot of hard games ahead. I definitely had confidence in the new players that were coming on and what we had left over from last year, so I wasn't too nervous, but um, I definitely thought we were going to have a little bit more trouble in our first game than we did. So there's only a couple of seniors on this team this year. Uh, how have some of the younger players stepped up? Oh, they've stepped up a lot. You know, Amelia Pilas, she had to really step up in a big role because our second baseman got hurt from last year. So she's doing a great job this season. She's really killing it at the plate. And, you know, she hasn't made any errors yet in the field. They're not scared. Like, I was terrified as a freshman. And I really think they've just stepped into their roles and been a huge help to the team. So you guys suffered a big loss against Hampshire early on in the season, uh, but you haven't lost since. So what changes did the team make after that game? Yeah, um, I think it definitely motivated us to do better in our next games because it sucks to lose. Um, no one liked that feeling, and practice the next day was totally different too. I think that that game, we were really nervous because they're a really good team, and we decided to go into games more um, like prepared, I guess, and like with more confidence. So last year in the playoffs, you got eliminated in a really close game against Minichog. Have you used that as motivation this season, or are you just focused on this year? Yeah, um, everyone on the team's looking forward to that game. Um, May 12th is something that everyone has in their minds. Um, that's really just what we're working towards to beat them. That's definitely some motivation. They've been our rivals since like my freshman year, and uh, we can't wait to play them again. So your last four pitching outings, you've only given up one run. How confident are you feeling right now when you go out to pitch? Um, I'm super confident, mostly because of the defense that I have behind me. So I just let them do the work. I'm, I'm the one throwing, and if they hit it, I just know they'll be right there to get the out for me. What is it like having your dad as the coach? Um, it can be difficult. He's really hard on me. We get into a lot of arguments. And finally, you're going to be playing softball at Merrimack next year. So what did you like about that program? Um, I really just love the coach. She spoke to me a lot. She really cared about like my academics and athletically. Um, so I just kind of felt that she wasn't fake. Like Some of the other coaches seemed like they just were on a script kind of when they were telling me what they had in mind. Um, so yeah, she was definitely a huge part of my decision, um, and I love the campus and stuff too. All right, great. Thanks so much for being on Hamped Up.